Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk. And today I'm going to watch for the very first time the Fault in Our Stars trailer. I have avoided this thing at all costs. At any time that I ever saw Shailene Woodley's face on Tumblr, I was just like, scroll past really fast. So I have seen nothing but a very select few gifs. Um, so this is going to be my first time watching it and I'm going to record this and hopefully it's not too humiliating because I just read this book like yesterday I finished so the, the feels are still very fresh so um I will have a link in the doobly-doo if you have not seen this holy Jesus Christ it has 11 million views I'm excited okay we're gonna start I believe we have a choice in this world about how to tell sad stories on the one hand you can sugarcoat it but nothing is too messed up that can't be fixed with a Peter Gabriel song that version as much as the next girl does. It's just not the truth. This is the truth. Hey, make some friends. Sorry. Okay. I'm Augustus Waters. I've been in remission for about a year and a half. Maybe you'd like to share some of your fears with the group. Fears? Oblivion. What's your name? Hazel. What's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. So, what's your story? I was diagnosed when I was 13. Oh, yeah. You're real sorry. I am quite unextraordinary. I reject that at the hand. You know, Gus talks about you all the time. We're just friends. I hope you realize you're trying to keep your distance from me and no way lessens my affection for you. Gus, I'm a grenade. One day I'm going to blow up, and I'm going to obliterate everything in my wake, and I don't want to hurt you. Oh. You don't get to choose if you get hurt in this world, but you do have a say in who hurts you. I am in love with you, Hazel Grace. And I know that love is just a shout into the void, and that oblivion is inevitable, and I am in love with you. Oh. All your efforts to keep me from you are going to fail. <laughs> chick from Jurassic Park. I've always liked her. Does she not age or something? She looks the same. The beginning, it's changed, but it's very much the same feel. I approve. Um, I'm talking like the narrating-ness uh, part. How Hazel and Gus like ran into each other instead of the thing, but then they cut the oblivion thing, which is a huge part, and oh, I'm so glad they did. Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. Ah, that far! He, okay, uh, his name's Ansel, right? I'm saying it right, I'm not saying it weird. It's Ansel. Oh, it's tough. Uh, one weird thing, he mildly looks like my brother. Second thing, <laughs> holy crap. D the way that he delivered the line, oh, he understands Augustus as this character so well, and, mm, but just how his body language, that's the word I was looking for, conveys this, and, oh, it's just this confidence, and he's so, oh my god, he is Augustus. They kept the grenade part, oh my god. Oh, d uh, they changed a little bit, but they kept the grenade. And I know the love was just a shout into the void part, oh my god! It's like this really like greatly attractive, not quite on that arrogant line, but definitely the cocky line thing and that that's attractive, but then I keep thinking that he looks like my brother. I will get over it. Oh yeah, and then we get that little part of the free funeral about the you gave me forever with the number of days part. Oh, okay. I got chills a couple times. I think that's a good sign. There are not words. Tell me what you feel. Tell me what you feel. The book is super fresh for me and I have not found one thing I do not like. Not yet. I'm excited for this movie. It comes out June 6th, right? Right? I questioned that three times in this. 
literally have not even seen a release date for this. I just knew that it was a thing that was happening, but otherwise I was clueless. So let me know what you think about it down there in the description if you're super excited to go and see it and I don't just, yeah, let me know all that stuff down there in the comments. Corey, you need to read this book so that I can fangirl with you. I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk where I will have a review up for God Shaped Hole by Tiffany De Bartolo. I should already have The Fault in Our Stars um, book talk up. This should be coming up after it, so you can check the description to see all of my feels on that. It is a long one, but it is... I'm, I'm hesitant to say funny the whole time because... That's just a challenge with this book, but I'm funny sometimes. But yeah, so I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Bye.